Hey everyone, it is almost Easter and I am going to spend the day making psanki or batik eggs, which is one of my favorite things to do. I've been doing it since I was a little kid. So I'm really excited to share this video with you. I mean, I know I usually do like textile dyeing, but this is a different kind of dyeing and I really love doing it. So I'm gonna show you guys um, a few of my eggs that I have already and some of the supplies that I use to make these types of eggs. And then I'm going to spend the day making eggs. So let me show you. Okay, so here are a bunch of my eggs that I have here. I have some more traditional ones over here and then I have more sort of like modern ones. I kind of just like to play with different motifs and flowers. And um, sometimes I like to do like one color or two colors, keep it really simple. Or sometimes you can do like multiple colors. So it's just really up to you what you want to do. And I just think that they're so fascinating. So the basic idea behind them is of course, you put wax on the egg and then you put them into the different dye baths one at a time, starting with yellow and then going up to different um, intensities of dyes. And then finally the last one is black, which um, is kind of nice because it usually like covers any sort of like imperfections and then I like to do like a gloss on top that really makes them sparkle and shine. So anyway, I'm going to show you the rest of my setup now. So first you're going to need some eggs. I have white eggs and then I got these blue eggs. Of course I love blue. So, um, they have been blown out. So you poke a hole in the top and in the bottom and then you blow all of the contents out of the egg. It's kind of an intense process, but that makes it so that they'll last forever. And um, it's totally worth doing because these eggs I have here, uh, I've had for years. So I would recommend blowing out the eggs. Um, next, what you're gonna need is um, candles. I have like a bunch of these little votives. And then um, you're gonna need quiscas. So I have a bunch of different quiscas. They come in all different sizes and fineness and thicknesses. So this is like a really thick one here. This is a little more fine one. And um, you're gonna use beeswax to draw on the eggs. So it's like a resist process. It's like batik, you need wax to make the designs. And then I also have um, an electric kiska that I really like and it's very fine. So um, you don't have to get an electric kiska. This is kind of an investment that I made after many years of using just the handheld kiskas. Um, but it, it does give you like a much smoother line when you're drawing. Then you're gonna need some dyes. Now these are just the packages of the dyes. I've already mixed up the dyes, um, but I, I like this brand of dye. The dye is important to get um, a Ukrainian egg dyeing kind of dye because like the ones you get from like the drugstore and stuff, they're not that strong. So these are gonna give you like super brilliant colors. And then um, I have these little findings here. So these get glued to the top of the eggs at the end. So they're optional, but I think they make it look like kind of pretty and fun. Of course, you're gonna need some vinegar. Um, it's very important to mix up the dyes and also to wash the eggs before you start dyeing. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get started and show you guys a little bit about my process. So let's get going. So this is a brand new piece of beeswax. Just FYI, it's like a half moon of beeswax. Um, I have like all these little tiny chunks of beeswax because I taught a class and I um, gave everybody their own piece of beeswax, but um, you can get like a big chunk of it from Amazon or wherever. 
Um, I'm going to put links down below in the description. So if you want to find any of these supplies online, you can go and check them out and um, buy your own Pisanki supplies for yourself. Okay, so I'm going to mix up my dyes here. These are from Best Pisanki and I have washed my mason jars. I usually use these for Pisanki dyeing, so they're pretty clean, not super clean. So I'm gonna start with Peacock Blue. So I'm just using a selection from a kit that I got on Amazon and I'll put the link down below. These are great quality dyes. I like them a lot. I've been using them for a few years. I love Pisanki dyeing. I think it's so fun. Okay, so I have some paper down and I have my votive light um, lit and I'm going to plug up the hole for this egg so it's totally empty. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is heat up my Kiska. So this is a thick line one and I'm just going to get it in the flame. And then I'm going to scoop up some of this beeswax into the little funnel. And I'm gonna melt it down. So I like to have the paper on the table so that I can kind of test it. And put the wax on there. So the wax will just kind of congeal together on, over the hole and that's really, that's all you really have to do. I'm going to do both sides and okay, great. So then what I'm going to do is dip it in, this is some vinegar and water. It's like uh, about probably about half and half ratio. And I'm going to rinse off this egg. Like when you blow out the egg, sometimes like egg yolk gets on them or there's just um, oil or something from your hand. So you just want to make sure you um, wash it, rinse it off and get it really clean. So I'm gonna keep it under here for um, a couple minutes, maybe a minute or two.
All right, so here is my setup for Ukrainian egg dyeing. And I have all my dyes mixed up and ready. And I just keep them with the lid on them for um, weeks. You can keep them for a long time. They do kind of start to lose their potency if you use them on like tons of eggs, but um, you can reuse them for a while. And I have my manual Kiskas and my beeswax. These are different sizes. One's fine and one's thick. And then I have my electric Kiska and the beeswax that goes in there. I have a candle and I have this book is really great. Um, it has a lot of ideas and a lot of about the history of Ukrainian eggs and it has really nice um, demonstrations and um, photos and drawings and everything like that. And it tells you like different orders you can go for the colors because um, there are like certain orders for the, the colors. So I really recommend that book. And I am ready to get started and I'm going to be posting more videos of specific eggs. So if you want to check those out, go ahead and look on my page for more Pisanki videos and I'll see you guys next time.